Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Bekwa Arelum. I'm a fourth course student of Abai East Kazakhstan Humanitarian College. Let's start our lesson. Our today's theme is Raising Money. The aims of the lesson are to read the text and do the tasks for it, to plan, write, edit, and proofread own work, to use present perfect simple correctly, to understand a longer sequence of supported classroom instructions. Let's do phonetic exercise. Listen to me carefully. Ah, my cat is black. My cat is fat. My cat likes rats. Rats are fat. Listen again and repeat after me. Ah, my cat is black. My cat is fat. My cat likes rats. Rats are fat. Let's get to know with new words. Make money. Akshatabu zarabotet dingi. Raise money, Aksha Jinao Sabirat Dingi. Save money, Aksha Nimdu Economy Dingi. Spend money, Aksha Jaratu Jumsao Trati Dingi. Waste money, Aksha No Oransu Jumsao Kurto. Prasat Naviti Rastrachvet Dingi. Label the pictures. Open your book at page number 20, Vocabulary Task. You should label the pictures with these words. Make, save, spend and waste. Let's check your answers. First, make money. Second, spend money. Third, waste money. Fourth, save money. Good job! Next exercise is reading the article at page number 2021. The text is It's all for charity. Please read the text. Okay, good. Now listen to me. I'll read the text. It's all for charity. Some of us are rich and have everything we need. Some of us are poor and don't have anything. Have you ever thought about helping poor people? We spoke to three people about what they have done to raise money for charity. Kevin Peterson had raised over 100,000 pounds with the help of Jenny. Jenny isn't a person though. Jenny is Kevin's bike, which has been with him on for long journeys around Europe. I've cycled to Turkey and back, and I've been all along the Mediterranean Sea from Spain to Greece. I've also cycled around Germany and around France. Each time I go, I ask my friends, my relatives, and the people I work with to give me money for charity if I finish the journey. I rest a lot, but I am planning to race more. This summer I am going to cycle to Moscow. It's not going to be easy, but Jenny will be there with me. And she hasn't got lost before. Liz Newman has never worked as a cook, but she says she's made over 10,000 cakes. She makes them and sells them. The money she makes goes to local charities. I am sure we've all asked ourselves how we can help other people. I decided to start selling cakes. I go to markets and other events and people are always interested in my cakes and why I am selling them. People are happy to spend money on my cakes when they know it's for charity. It's better than, than wasting it on expensive cakes from shops. Mine are tastier and fresher and cheaper, so you save money too. The money I make pays for eggs, flour and other ingredients and for my travel. And the rest goes straight to local charities. Greg Lee has done some crazy things for charity. At the same time, he's raised a lot of money. I've jumped out of an aeroplane. Of course, I had a parachute. I did it 10 times in one day, which was very tiring but a lot of fun. And I've cut all my hair off twice. I'm happy to do anything if it raises money. I've never run a marathon, but I'm going to enter the London Marathon this year. And I'm going to do it dressed as a chicken. Watch out for me on TV. Let's do the exercise number one. Read the article and write K for Kevin. L for Liz or G for Greg. To raise money, this person has changed the way they look, has done a lot of cooking, has traveled a long way, 
travels and sells something, gets money from people they know, has jumped with parachute. Okay, let's check your answers. First sentence for Greg, second for Liz, third for Kevin, fourth for Liz, fifth for Kevin, sixth for Greg. Alright. Look at this rule. This is present perfect simple. How we form that? We form the present perfect simple using the past participle. The past participles of regular verbs end in it. Positive. I, you, we, they have met him. He, she, it has met him. Negative. I, you, we, they have not met him. He, she, it has not met him. Question. Have I met him? Has she met him? Yes, I have. Yes, she has. We can use ever in questions and never in negative statements. For example, have you ever been to, U to New York? No, I've never been to New York. The next task is writing the verbs in the present perfect simple. You should write the verbs jump, give, run, see, hear, tell in the present perfect simple. Okay, let's check your answers. First, Greg has jumped out of a plane to raise money many times. Second, I have given a lot of money to charity in the past. Third, Hannah has not run a marathon before. Fourth, have you ever seen a person dressed as a chicken? Fifth, I have never heard of children in need. What is it? Sixth, has Harry told you about the time he went to Africa? Your home task will be at page number 21, the word power. The lesson is over. Goodbye.